a peace of equanimity. Equanimity is one of the hardest things to understand in Vipassana and in Buddhism. Uh, and I was thinking of an example as I was studying something I'm making podcasts about in the moment. Uh, abandonment, in this case abandonment of fetters. And I came to one of the abandoning of a fetter, which is the abandonment of immaterial rebirth desires. Now the abandonment of the desire for immaterial rebirth comes on top of after the desire or simultaneously with the desire or after the desire of material rebirth desires. So to abandon the desire for material rebirth. You abandon it, your desire to be reborn in a body. And the abandonment of rebirth in an immaterial form, such as a Brahma being who is pure mind and has no material form. And to abandon the desire to be reborn as a Brahma or a Deva, angel, angelic, celestial being, or as a human or an animal or any form of physical or non-physical individual existence as a God or a human. To abandon the desire in this. <clears throat> now here is where perhaps I can try to reveal one of the facets of equanimity as meant in Buddhism is that if you abandon the desire for material and immaterial rebirth you can look very deeply inside that if you were to abandon the desire in rebirth in a material or immaterial kind of existence then would you be disturbed by the idea of having to be reborn again because if you don't want to be reborn that is actually a desire and it's not abandonment and there is no equanimity in it you're not being equanim equanimous hmm? you're not having equanimity because you've just changed the desire to be reborn into the desire to not be reborn and this is still re hidden and residing it is as if you are renouncing and abandoning but actually still clinging whereas you should not cling to the desire to not be born but you can abandon the desire to be born without having to cling to the desire to never be reborn you can abandon the desire to be in the world without developing the desire to not be in the world. The only desire to leave the world should be on a subtle level and with equanimity through renouncing the desire to be in the world. That is how to leave the world, to not develop desires, be it the desire to leave the world or the desire to return to the world and to Abandon the desire for material rebirth or the desire for immaterial rebirth. Equanimity is required that you abandon those desires and you also abandon their opposite desires because arahantship comes with complete abandonment of all ten fetters. Mr. John Spencer signing off.